Okay, welcome to our lecture online. And now we have a, a trigonometric equation here that is a little bit more challenging for us to solve. Uh, what might be tempting here is simply to move the cosine of theta to the other side and then try to figure out when is the sine of 2 theta equal to negative the cosine of theta. But in mid trial and error, you might be able to figure that out. But there's a better way to do it. Here we have a double angle. I remember the equation that if you have the sine of a plus b that equals the sine of a times the cosine of b plus the cosine of a sine of b. Remember, if this is plus, that's plus as well. And then if you have the double angle, for example, sine of a plus a, which is basically 2a, that is equal to the sine of a cosine of a plus the cosine of a sine of a. Notice that these are the same, so you could say that the sine of 2a is equal to 2 times the sine of a times the cosine of a. In other words, we can come back over here and write the sine of 2 theta the way we did over there. We can turn this into 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta, and then we add to that the cosine of theta is so equal to 0. Now what we can do is our old technique is we can factor out a cosine of theta, end up with a product, and when you have a product set equal to zero, you can of course solve for each of the individual factors. So in this case, we're going to factor out a cosine of theta, and we end up with a two sine theta plus one equals zero. And of course, now we have a product. It's this multiplied times this equals zero. Whenever you have two things multiplied together, and equals zero, that means one or the other must equal zero. So we can say that the cosine of theta equals zero or two times the sine of theta plus one equals zero. And now we can solve these two individually. So first of all, the cosine of theta equals zero. There's only one solution for that. The cosine of theta is only, oh, no, no, there's two places. There's actually two places. Let me draw. I was getting a little lazy there. See, when we just kind of uh, don't do the extra work, we sometimes make mistakes. But if I draw the unit circle, here's my y-axis, here's my x-axis. And uh, for example, if the angle is 90 degrees, if theta is equal to 90 degrees, at that point, the x value of that point is equal to zero. Remember that the cosine of the angle represents the x value on the unit circle. But there's another place down there where the x value is equal to zero. So there's two values for theta when the cosine of theta can be equal to zero. So therefore, we can say that when theta is equal to 90 degrees, which is basically pi over 2, or when theta is equal to 270 degrees, which is 3 pi over 2. So for those two values, for theta, the cosine of theta will be equal to 0, and 0 times anything else, you'll get 0. So that's two of the solutions. Now we solve this part, this equation right here, to see if there's any additional solutions. So we have 2 times the sine of theta equals negative 1. We'll bring the 1 across, divide both sides by 2. We get the sine of theta is equal to minus 1 half. All right, now we're looking for an angle such that the sine of the angle equals negative one half. Again, looking at the unit circle, uh, the sine of theta is associated with the y value of a point on the unit circle. So that would be maybe down here somewhere. Let's see here, right down there and down there. So what you can see here is that if the angle is this value down there, so I'll call that theta sub three, then the y value would be minus one half. And of course we have a similar thing on the other side right there, so that would be an additional angle uh, from here all the way to there. And so theta sub 3, let's see, when theta is 30 degrees, the sine of theta is 1 half. When theta is negative 30 degrees, the sine of theta is negative 1 half. So one of the options is theta equals negative 30 degrees, or 180 plus 30, so theta is equal to 180 degrees plus 30 degrees which is 210 degrees. Of course, if we want a number or an angle between 0 and 360 degrees, the minus 30 actually will become 330 degrees, going all the way around like that. Let me draw it here, all the way around like that until you get that to, to that point. So there's actually four angles, 90 degrees and 270 degrees, 330 degrees and 210 degrees. Of course, you can convert that to um, radians. So this is equal to uh, pi plus pi over 6 radians. 
and this is equal to pi plus 5 pi over 6 radians so that would be 11 pi over 6 and this would be 7 pi over 6 so here's your three or your four possible answers pi halves 3 pi over 2 11 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6 four possible angles for making that equation equal to zero.